Okay, trying to stay to the point with this one and sum it up nice and briefly, because it's a little difficult to sum up all the different facets to it, but to stay to the point, people have been asking me a lot about where to position their teeth, where to bite with an overbite. Now, an overbite's a fairly common thing, and I believe that an ideal development to the dental arch has a slight overbite anyway. I do mean slight. I mean, the top teeth should cover the bottom ones by about 30%, something like that. But a lot of people, when they're describing an overbite they have, they're talking more about the top teeth being way too far in front of the bottom ones, you know, so you've got that kind of problem when they're biting. Or it's like that, you know, with the front teeth too far forward, so the bottom ones reach right up to the top. Whatever, it doesn't really matter exactly what your bite is like. The point is that people are asking me where to bite. You know, because a lot of people are coming to me saying they've seen it recommended to bite with the teeth like this. Cusp to cusp, you know, tip to tip, deliberately lining them up so that you've artificially got the teeth in a good position like that. The problem with this bite that I see, and I believe that uh, the same thing is said on the Orthotropics channel, but I'll have to check to be sure. I can't remember the last time I watched one of their videos on that specific subject, but the problem I see with that is that if you're biting like this, with an overbite. As you can see in my teeth, the back teeth don't come into contact. The rest of the dental arch is all out of contact, which means that you're not getting much support from your biting muscles to support the maxilla to come upwards and forwards. And the core issue causing an overbite is that the maxilla is too narrow, it's too down, it's too far back in the face. This will tend to mean that the tongue will push against the front teeth, causing those front teeth to be too far forward in relation to the bottom teeth, you know, or the back teeth, whatever, you know, the exact detail is. The point is there's an imbalance, there's an unevenness in the development of the maxilla. And the solution, as I see it, is not to focus on the overbite itself, not to focus on that specific part of the problem, because that's a symptom. That's caused by a core issue, like with my gap teeth, it's a very similar process. I don't have enough room at the back for my tongue, you know, the back part of the dental arch, so it's too low in the mouth, it has to fit somewhere so it fits against the front of my teeth. It's made room there, as you can see with the way my teeth are aligned. So yeah, with an overbite, it's a very similar process. And the solution to that is not to line them up like that, artificially trying to correct the problem. What you want to do is get as many of the teeth in contact as possible, get the support from the biting muscles to, like I say, support the maxilla to grow upwards and forwards. And I don't mean you clench. I don't mean clench hard and force it up there. I mean just generally get things in a gentle, good alignment. But yeah, getting the back molars in contact. Then get as many teeth as you can. Fiddle about a bit, see where you know where you can align it so that things are comfy. But like you find, if I try to, if I bite with the back teeth and then move it around like this, the changes are minimal. They do feel massive in the mouth, but it's probably not as big a difference in reality as it feels like in there. Point is get the back teeth in contact and then just get things as comfortable as possible with as many teeth in contact as possible so that as much of the maxilla is being pushed up and forwards as you can get. From there, work on getting good tongue posture because the force of the tongue against the roof of the mouth will expand things forward. That's what will bring the back teeth forwards to where they should be. And if you keep a good lip posture, I don't mean forcing your lips shut and sucking on everything to pull it back in the face. You don't want to pull the overbite back, really. You want to get everything else to come forward to meet it. But a good lip posture will keep things in a nice, even alignment as the tongue expands everything forwards. So if you do those three things, again, it's just the tropic premise. In a nutshell, keep the tongue up on the roof of the mouth, keep the teeth lightly together or very close to their bite position, and keep a light lip seal, you know, keep a relaxed but firm lip seal. And yeah, that'll lead to ideal facial development and a good dental alignment with room for all 32 teeth. So I hope that explains it. Just keep the back teeth in contact, keep the support on the maxilla. And over time, if you keep good po uh, oral posture overall, the overbite will take care of itself. You don't need to focus specifically on it. It's one symptom. It's one possible symptom of the core issue, which is the maxilla's too far down and too far back. So yeah, focus on keeping good oral posture overall, including keeping the back teeth in contact, and eventually the problem should go away. I'm open to discussion on this idea, you know, because a lot of people do say they've seen a lot of videos with people saying bite like that. But to me, that's trying to treat a symptom by ignoring the core problem, and that doesn't really fix things. I can't imagine that focusing on that will lead to allowing you to fix the tongue posture enough to stop 
growing your jaws in the way that's causing this overbite. But I'm rambling a bit there, it sounds a bit convoluted by this point. Yeah, just focus on keeping good oral posture, keep your back teeth in contact with the priority. So I hope that explains it, feel free to talk to me in the comments below, I'm happy to discuss this, I'm open to debating it, and yeah, good luck, take care.